Hi guys, welcome back to Fitness Friday. How are all my bells and boys doing? So today we are working on balance on the basu ball. Um, we also do some other things focusing on balance. And this is also my leg day. But I just wanted to show you guys um, what I'm doing to kind of strengthen my core and get my balance together. That's one thing that I've really kind of avoided. I know in fitness, a lot of times we avoid the things that we're not good at, but I'm trying not to do that within this year. So I'm doing a lot of the things that I was avoiding, like I um, knew I couldn't do chin-ups. I've been really trying to incorporate that in my workouts, just things that um, I might struggle with so that I can get better at them. And you know, that's what you should do. Like, if you find something that you struggle at, like, keep doing it and actually maybe incorporate that in all your workouts, even if you're working a different part of the body. Just um, everything that challenges you. Really challenge yourself to get better at something. So if you feel like you can't do it, don't get frustrated and avoid it because then you always won't be able to do that thing. You won't be able to um, excel in certain areas and you don't want to limit yourself like that because again the bible says we can do all things through christ who strengthens us so that definitely applies to fitness it just it might take you a little bit more time and practice to do it you know some things come easily when you're in fitness some things you're better at automatically you just kind of pick it up but there are some things that you have to learn and strengthen with time so don't ever say you can't do something or you're not good at something you just need more practice with it so with that being said, you saw that I was doing squats with weights on the bossy ball. Now I'm doing some deadlifts with the kettlebell and we'll go into the next move. So I'm still needing more practice with the single leg movements on the bossy ball. So I've gotten off of the bossy ball to do the um, single leg deadlifts, but this itself is a um, a balancing technique even not on the bossy ball just balancing on one leg and this will get easier for you as it has gotten for me um, the one thing about strength in balance is it really all comes from your core whether you realize it or not and a lot of you ladies who want to work on your stomach and your abs having a really tight core will help you with the balance as well as you know the balance will help you with having a tight core because you're really kind of want to use those muscles to kind of tighten them up and kind of um, stabilize the rest of your body. Your core is really influential in balancing your upper body and your lower body in between each other so that you can, you know, balance on one leg or balance on the basu ball and things like that. Um, even help you with better form when you're doing things like squats and lunges where you need a little bit of balance because you're balancing between two legs. So I'm back on the bossu ball and I'm doing this kind of um, variation of a deadlift. It really works that front hamstring of the leg. You'll see that I switch legs there because the front leg is the one hamstring that it's working at a time. And you kind of want to keep the dumbbells at your side and then when you come in and down, with the uh, dumbbells then you're going to go and switch your legs and do the other side keeping a nice flat back when you get down And here I'm just showing you how the movement looks um, without the basu ball. You can also do these if you're not comfortable doing it on the basu ball yet. You want to keep your legs a good width apart, knees slightly bent, and again keeping a nice flat back on the way down, turning inwards and back out. So the next thing we're going to do is some curtsy lunges with the dumbbells on the bossu ball and then also again we'll show you what it looks like off of the bossu ball.
These and the next two movements are great for your quads. Um, definitely a challenging movement in terms of strength. You'll definitely feel that burn, but they're wonderful for really strengthening those quads. This next movement is called the Ski Module. Um, I flipped the bossy ball over onto the ball side and I'm standing on the flat side as you can see. Legs shoulder width apart and getting down into a squat. And you kind of just want to allow your hips and legs to teeter back and forth as if you were skiing. I believe that they use this to practice for skiing, but this is really great for your quads and your um, glutes as you're down into a squat. So the next thing that we're going to do is a lunge with the champion bar and this is a balancing technique um, because you have the one arm out and you have extra weight on the side that you're getting down into a lunge with so it kind of adds a little bit of more balance needed there and then the foot that my weight, the weight is under um, is just to kind of extend that um, lunge a little bit deeper because it's uh, leveling up the foot that's on so it kind of makes my leg back leg have to work harder. If you're a beginner at this fitness thing then I would suggest just trying regular lunges first and then add the weight and then add the champion bar. You can also do lunges with just um, dumbbells in your hands. So try different variations of lunges. They're great for learning how to balance yourself and this whole workout is great for balancing, also great for legs. If you would like to see more um, of my journey with balancing, then leave that in the comments. Also, if you would like to see a whole workout routine on the Basu Ball, then leave that in the comments. Um, thanks so much for watching another Fitness Friday. I'll see you guys next week.